So basically, you walk into my house, I got the little living room area here, stairs here, dining room here, and a kitchen over. Well, it's good. So today, I'm basically going to be showing you how to remove a uh, head light assembly on a Yamaha FZ07. Basically, my problem is I have to change out these plastic pieces right there. Gotta change that one out. This screw is completely messed up. Plastic broke right there. Headlight I might want to change. I might leave it on because I don't really want to mess with it because it's just a little scratch. But this I gotta change kind of make it look bad. And mainly the problem is this right here. How is it loose? So basically, I'm gonna be showing you how to remove this. It's very simple. The only tools you wanna need is basically the two Allen wrenches that it comes with. And in my case, I gotta tighten the little um, turn signal. So I'm gonna be using this 916th uh, wrench. So basically, to tighten this is very simple. The headlight assembly is connected with four screws. One right here, one right here, one right here, and then one more right there. There's one, two, three, four. Very simple, I already pre-loosened them all to get them all done. These two are pretty simple to take out. This one is actually really tight in there. So this one might be a little harder to take out. Just be careful, don't strip the head because then it's a real big problem. So I'm gonna take all these out and I'll show you what happens. Go ahead and make sure you keep these. So another thing with these is these two bolts right here, there's a spacer in between it. So go ahead, when you take them out, be careful, don't lose the spacer. There you go. Comes out just like that. It's the thing itself with the little washer. So go ahead, the spacer is stuck in there. Just be careful, don't knock it out. Same thing with this side. So the next step is to take out this one right here. And the one thing is when you take it out, when you take it out, it's actually the exact same head as the one up here. So these two bolts are actually the exact same two. The only thing is one is longer than the other. So make sure you remember that the short one is from down here and the long one's up here. So go ahead and put this to the side, don't get it mixed up. And then same thing on this side. And another thing with these as well is there's a spacer. So be careful when you take it out, don't lose the spacer. So just like that, basically now the, head whole, the whole head assembly is loose. These two plastic pieces are separate. So they come off, there goes the spacer. There's one spacer that came out from the bottom, keep that. So, this plastic thing right here is separate from the whole head assembly, but this holds the whole thing together. So now that it's separate, it's hanging by the turn signal. So I guess you can let it hang, would I recommend it, but it's not a big deal for me. And then this one comes loose as well. Give it a little wiggle. There you go, just like that. And these two come loose, and the whole head assembly, if you lift it up a little bit, it comes right out. So just like that, the whole head assembly comes loose. So you have this main piece right here that's one, and then these two side things that hold the turn signals. So I'm just gonna put these to the side for now and don't worry about this. I kinda wanna replace this piece right here, but until I find one online that use one, I'm not gonna mess with it really. I just wanna fix this turn signal before it falls off. So it's pretty simple. The turn signal is held by a little bolt, basically, that the wires go through. And all you have to do is tighten that bolt to straighten this out. So I'm gonna hold it to where I want it, just like that, and go ahead and tighten the bolt inside of there. So I'm hand tightening a little bit so it stays in place. There you go. Hand tight, it's in place. So now what I'm gonna do is get my 916 wrench and just tighten it like this. Underneath there is a gap so you can tighten it. The problem is it won't really fit. So, oh, there goes the other spacer as well. And this spacer that fell out actually from the top right here. Top spacer I was talking about. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten it from this. That's pretty tight. So now if you see like this is not going anywhere like it won't really turn at all. So tight enough. So now I'll go ahead and basically put it all back together. So before I put it on, I'm gonna show you. The headlight itself goes onto these two little black things right there. So I'm not sure if you can tell. This part right here of the headlight goes onto these two little black things right there. So go ahead, place the headlight onto the little rubber black things. And these go in just like that. So just like that, you basically put all the pieces back together and back on. So the first thing I recommend is putting these two pieces on so it will stay. And get one more for this side. 
just like that. Get a little hand tight, a little snug, so it stays. And this part's kind of a pain. So if your spacer did not fall out, like this one didn't on the sides, see, that spacer didn't fall out. But basically, if I can zoom in right there, this spacer goes into the top piece right here. So just go from back, stick it in just like that. Can you see it now? So go ahead and put the little spacer on first, on both sides. So I get both spacers in there. So now these two side bolts just go into there. Move all the wires out of the way. Lift it up a little bit. Oh, that came back out. Now lift it up a little bit, push it in there into place. Like you might have to hold it for a while and then basically you put these two back in and make sure the washer's on there as well. Let's go ahead and put the top bolts back in. I'll we'll have to push it down a little bit, hold it in place. Get that one snug. And time with this side. Play with it a little bit. Don't put too much pressure and don't force anything because you don't want to mess up any screws. Snug that up. Snug that up. And basically the next step is to put in these bottom pieces right here. And the good thing about this, it's not connected yet completely. It's not too tight. So you can go ahead and put the spacer in from the back. And hold it with your finger and then put the bolt just like that in there. Hold it with your finger and then go ahead and put the screw in there just like that. And hand tighten it with your finger. And then same thing with this side. Pull it out. So the good thing about plastic, you can bend it a little bit. But you don't have to bend it too much because you don't want it to break. Alright, just like that. You tighten these down. Come on this side. Get this one. And then go ahead. Snug this one up. Snug this one up. Don't put too much pressure on the top two. Because you might break these because they're very really plastic, very cheap. Be light on that and just tighten these up right here. That's good. Tight. These two are the main two. You don't want this coming out while you're on the highway. So tighten these up very well. And just like that, that's how you remove the headlight assembly on the Yamaha FZ07. If you want to see how to remove anything else, like front fender, the rear fenders, any else, plastic pieces, go to my channel. I have a bunch of videos right there. And until then, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.